name is Amy. I just wanted to make a video sharing the campsites that I stayed at on my way from Washington State up to Alaska. I just wrote a list of all of the places I stayed at and I'll be sharing some video clips of the different ones uh, along with this as well. So the first place I stayed at was Seton Lake. It's a recreation site. I believe it's um, right next to Lowett, British Columbia. There's room for all size rigs, not just small ones like mine. And you can stay up to two weeks, I believe. I stayed here for two nights and there are a few hiking trails around as well as the beautiful lake that you can kayak or swim in. Unfortunately, it was a little bit cold when we were there, but highly recommend that place. How gorgeous is this? He doesn't appreciate it. <laughs> the next one is Quitzel Lake, which is just west of Prince George. It made for an okay stop. The gravel road getting down there was pretty rough. There is a trail. I, I don't, I'm not sure if it goes all the way around the lake or not, but we went on a little bit of it and there was evidence of bear. So just make sure you have your bear spray with you. Although, you know, the likelihood of something happening isn't very much, but it's good to be safe. Only thing I didn't really like about this place is there was a memorial for a couple of kids that had passed. I'm not sure about the circumstances, but it just gave me a really weird feeling. The next is White Swan Park in Fraser Lake. This place was pretty nice. It accommodated big rigs. It was right on the water. So we went kayaking a couple of times. The water can get pretty rough in the wind. But other than that, it was pretty great. Lots, uh, like a, quite a bit of area for walking. If you have kids, there's a playground, so that's fun. And a boat launch as well. Then we stayed at Twin Falls Recreation Site. So it's pretty cool because there's just a short hike up to the falls and they're really pretty. Lots of mosquitoes, be forewarned. Then I think I'm gonna put in a couple of clips on our little day trip out to Stewart, British Columbia and Hyder, Alaska. I highly, highly, highly recommend taking this trip. I, I forget how far it is each way, but not very far. The views are spectacular. I could seriously go on and on. The Sokat Mountains and lush with trees and just waterfalls cascading down. So amazing. This is also where we saw our first bear. There's a little black bear along the side of the road. I did take a picture, insert here, because I was going like five miles an hour behind a semi, but other than that, I didn't take pictures of any of the other bears I saw because I was driving. After Twin Falls, we stayed at M-E-H-A-N Mahon Lake Rest. It's just a rest area. The mosquitoes here were insane. That's a whole story in and of itself. Terrible. Do not recommend. Then there was Mortuaya Lake Recreation Site, which is really nice and quiet, as well as French Creek Recreation Site little lake Teslon dispersed camping. I will have all of these listed below, whether I found them on a website or their coordinates. Last but not least was the Walmart in Whitehorse, which uh, has a dump station and water fill up at the gas station right next door. So that's pretty handy. I think I'm gonna put a clip in of a park in Whitehorse that we really liked, the one along the Yukon River. It was really pretty. Highly recommend.
the Yukon River. Also, I lied. White Horse was not the last stop before Alaska. It was Destruction Bay. There's a pullout that we stayed at and it was really gorgeous, as you can see. I don't know if I mentioned it before because this video is five minutes and apparently my memory is really bad, but all of these campsites were free. I got them off of either freecampsites.net or found them in the milepost book, which is basically the like Bible of traveling to Alaska. Oh, what else do I want to share? The road conditions were fine. Like, the Cassiar was completely paved or they were working on the paving so they had you know like a couple small stretches of gravel but nothing bad at all the only thing was some of the roads were really narrow but nothing that made me uncomfortable and I get uncomfortable really easily. I also wanted to note that cell service on the Cassiar is pretty much non-existent so depending on how long you camp at different places you could be going at least a few days without cell service. I hope that that was helpful in some way. I will be making other videos about places we're staying in Alaska. I hope you're doing great wherever you are adventuring. Leave a comment below if you have a channel of your adventures. Great. This is just me. Awkward. Bye. There's a little hiking area next to this rest stop here on the Alaska Highway. Dax loves it. He's very eager. Ah, we gotta get him! What do you think, Dax? What do you think lives here? Mosquitoes? I think you're right. <laughs>